Brum. That's now, right now, on this show right now. What are in we a, doing, Flash? In a, in a perfect world. Uh, well, we're contrasting the, the occupation. Occu the occupation, yeah. yeah. Are you the I occupied or are you the occupier? Uh, I occupy within the occupation. Ah, okay. Yes. I miss, and yeah. Well, today we're uh, we're titling this show "The Cunning Linguist." Aha! All right. That's so, right. I'm the hijacker. I've hijacked it. Aha! Uh -huh. Yes, the Pl cunning linguist from, the, from uh, yes from uh, from the Urban Dictionary. Ah. A, a code man for uh, that can walk the walk and talk the talk with the best of the best. His code man is usually mistaken for a sexual act of being a person that has sex in his mind, but in, in reality refers to his ability to talk himself out of trouble or talk himself into convincing or fooling the ordinary person. A cunning linguist has a lot of confidence in what he says and does, keeps his mind and cuss someone out when mad. Other traits that defines a cunning linguist being a smart ass, bragging and being witty. So we're going to live up to that or hope to today. Uh, contrasting this occupation that we're in a perfect world that it be. How do you do? Uh, Vince Easley or Vinny. Yeah. Our old lamb radio line with flash somebody. Yeah. You, th at, you think you're going to win, huh? Yes. At reallibertymedia.com. Uh, you, you do realize I can sell you to the state and just claim you're clinically insane. Turn you in. You know for, what? Wait a minute. I'm not done with my threat. And okay. I, I threat me, buddy. Turn you in for the bounty and, and uh, retire with my wife. It's true. It's very true. Yep. I've been listening to uh, Schaefer Cox, and uh, uh, sure enough on this, I, I've got this book by Bill Fulton, where uh, he was the FBI infiltrator guy, informant and all that, and uh, really steered the uh, the whole case along in so many ways. But uh, Schaefer was talking about that very thing. Uh, who's to prevent somebody from coming along and cutting your fingers off and making a necklace, right? Superman. Yeah, Batman in a, per in a perfect world. Maybe, yes. maybe Batman. No, 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 no. Or you know, in the really dark times, Popeye, or maybe Pinky in the Brain. Oh, what are we gonna do tonight, Flashes? Well, well, I guess my point behind the sarcastic tone was that we all live in a load of bullshit, so there is no help. It's just more trouble. The more people you involve, the more problems you will have. Easy peasy. You almost said easily. Almost, but it didn't. <laughs> yeah, I thought I was going to just tease around the sides, you know, just. Yeah. <laughs> but not so, quite. <laughs> so what about the age-old question, who will build Which the old? roads? I've got no. graders outside going oh, up and down the road. Okay. See, what people tend to misunderstand is the necessity for a road that goes from New York directly to L.A. Are, um, that's old school. doesn't exist anymore. Nobody's going to use all that. <laughs> so the only thing they got the roads, the interstate and all that government shit left for is to farm, you know, to for the, the livestock. You know, so the livestock will move from one side of the herd area to the other side of the herd area. That's exactly right. You know, it keeps the illusion of an economy going. When that that little pittance that people spend on a daily basis in public, although it sounds like a lot when you total it all up, the bankers got us beat by trillions of dollars. And they do it every day. So, nah, it's a scam. We're, we're being misled. That's how that system works, and everybody then has to be subservient to it. Because if you go outside, if you go outside this uh, this box that we're uh, put in this pod, this cage, uh, they're going to beat you down, and uh, they're going to put you in a smaller, smaller box. Let me. Uh, I'm going to open this real quick. Stop it just in time, and I'm going to copy this link. Ah, link to up here. Hmm. Yeah, for uh, for later. This I've posted already over on the RLO, the Real Liberty dot org. Uh, 
Schaefer Cox right here. Yeah. It's it's very it's, it's quite amazing what some of the stuff he said. There are a lot of things that I've thought of, um, and, and he's talking about a piece, a separate uh, separation from this governance that we have on us, uh, and doing it peaceful, not being aggressive, not attacking it, mm. but to establish uh, a position outside of it. Yeah, and when people come along that, and they've got thousands of people that are are attending. Yeah, uh, filling yeah. filling auditoriums. Yeah, that is a that is a big nail sticking up that has to be beaten down. And he's in prison uh, for the last six years and got a, has about twenty more to go because uh, he chose to stand up. Well, it seems to me that the media always covers all the violent shit. You'll never hear about anything that goes on in a, in a public arena in any country I've ever seen where they don't report all the negative bad shit and then you don't hear two words about anything fucking good ever happening. So in your mind it's always bad news. No matter what it is always bad news. Bad. It's a mind That's, fuck. Uh, yeah, That's I've been listening to to how the story is told. Hmm. Uh, another uh, subject matter that, that I study because what when we're talking, you know, this is a form of entertainment and that's why people generally listen not to be informed but be entertain uh, yeah and, and get your mind yeah get your mind free of the day for all that real stuff and just have a giggle fuck no no beyond that beyond that oh the, the media deep. what it feeds people oh the is media entertainment it feeds yeah. that dopamine uh release and, and other chemical reactions within the body uh, yeah, yeah people yeah. people want to ah! people sometimes like to be shocked I'm sorry to have done that to you. I, I, did, I did take that from a from a TED talk. Um, oh, didn't rock yeah. me at all. I was halfway through a hit. Well, I'm hoping when it reaches downstream here in just about a minute oh, or so, you, you get some baby. kind of reaction. Oh, are we delayed? Oh, so we talk first and then it gets put to the chat. Well, later. it rolls. No, it, yeah, it rolls. Can't work that way. It, uh, it takes a minute, you know. Uh, yeah, sure, whatever. Anyway, Rob, Rob said the, uh, what did he say back there? Li <laughs> living in a load of bullshit and it roads is for revenueing. Yeah, that that's the point. They were never made. Those interstate roads were never made for the public in the first place. They were a lemon that the military couldn't use, so they dumped it on the people. Figured, hey, how can we make this work? Well, we'll use them to uh, make them use the cars on it that's and wonderful over the well shit look at the revenue of roads in states where they have toll roads and they're no better taken care of than the government roads same bullshit the weather well, well, be beats the shit out of them and they don't get repaired until they drive, absolutely have to when i was driving a big truck you get it uh, like florida you know you got to pay the uh, go the long way ar or around, or uh, pay the toll. Going across New Mexico, you had no choice. You, you as a uh, commercial vehicle, you paid. It was about, I think, sixty-five bucks to, to cross the state. Yeah. Are you complaining to me or what? No, I'm not complaining. I think that's the way it should work. I oh. think the people that that uh, uh, oh. you know, uh, uh, all these this commercial vehicles going across. If uh, take for instance, let me localize it just a little bit. Uh, when the uh, the fracking boom was going on here in Arkansas in the Fatville Shell, uh, what we had was is all these big trucks hauling all this stuff and destroying the roads, and then so they had to come in and uh, maintain them and uh, fix them and restore them. Well, right. So that, yeah, I hope. but that's turned into a big mess. Oh, there, absolutely. There, I yeah. there are private in private individuals that offer to do public works out of their own pocket doing their own labor and the state will come in tear it down and put up something half as good that costs three times more i and lived uh i live for from where i live now i live just uh just around the corner in uh, a private road i uh Ooh. i maintain i maintain that road i told the county to stay off of it very good that's right and I had the best road around here. I'll bet you it's, do. It hasn't been touched in uh, 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 probably a half a decade. And uh, as you go look at right now, it's still a perfect road. Take pictures and 
be all braggy about it. I, I should. That's a, that's yeah. a good idea. A right. Good idea. Well, like, what is Mary and, you know, the gist I get from, you know, Mary and Grimm and, and Rob Works, people like that. That well, let, is, you know, be an example instead of a bragger. But let, showing, me, let me give you an example of how to build that road. This road that I built over here, I didn't yeah, build it, but pictures I, are better. I brought it on. Yeah, made it better. So what I did was uh, uh, Green Bay Packing. They have uh, some uh, plantations back here, so I, they had to come back in there and do some maintenance and uh, some uh, fire trails and this and that. Uh, and they had to come through, and so I knew the guy uh, that was uh, you know in charge of that operation there. I got him to uh, bring me gravel, gravel the road, uh, and then I, with my tractor, I spread it, uh, packed it, uh, maintained it, and all. So through this commercial business of, uh, you know, making paper, um, they 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 took part of that, you know, cost. And then I, with my labor and my equipment, uh, improved that and maintained that. And there is an example. And thank you. I will. Get pictures of that. Uh, I'm sure that's that's who will build the roads. People would see if government just leave us the fuck alone, but they got us too overcrowded in the city situation, so it's doomed. Uh, here, I'll give you an example, right? Me and Cirque, I was watching. Um, I was watching Car Links either today or yesterday with her. Well, not with her. She was a victim of my particular search. Some car caught my attention. And the next thing I know, I, I was asking her if she w knew what a uh, lowrider out of California looked like. And we started to watch the links, and they got all these fucking cars that are so, you know, fancy, <laughs> fancy. And you can you can pretty much eat off the engine if you wanted to, you know, if it Sweet. struck you to. Yeah, that you, clean. You've, you've been to Whittier Boulevard. That's what I was showing her. I, I grew up on Whittier. Anyway. Mm -hmm. uh so I'm showing her these things, and, and as we're watching it, she's telling me all this. Her side of it is uh, some of these guys, you know, all, all their money goes to those cars. That That's everything they got. They'd pro probably work on the car before they'd buy weed or alcohol or anything. You know, cigarettes, no, fuck, the car comes first. And I was trying to tell her that it used to be like that. Now these are just rich kids showing off because poor people yeah. can't even afford to fucking get the paperwork to get – you know, uh, there's so much regulation in cars now, insurance, and it's an, it's a nightmare. And that's that's what I forget is when I was started driving, and when I drove, the restrictions were were pretty loose. Still, they hadn't tightened the fucking chains that tight. You had to have insurance, but if the car was insured and you didn't get in a wreck, there's no problem. I uh, I drove in California when I was uh, on the lamb. Oh, uh, you bad boy, you. Okay. I was. Welcome to the bad guy portion of In a Perfect World. There we go. Hold on. I'm sorry. I'm interrupting. I'm. Uh, hey, where's my other stuff there? What the crap? I hope I didn't lose it. Hey, I'm putting some notes in here for our uh, for our show title. Just be patient through Vincent's mental breakdowns. They they come and go. <laughs> Are you having a meltdown, Vinny? <laughs> no, I'm just over here. You uh, multitasking or some yes. shit? <laughs> yes, yes, that's right. Dumbass. <laughs> you know what multitasking means in, in English, right? No. That means instead of doing one thing well, you do multiple things shitty. That works for me. But it's true. You can't do more than one thing at a time. So if you're doing five different things... Your attention is spread out, so you separate That's them. That's right. That's right. But you know what? You have uh, to. Uh, you have to be able to do this and do a, making radio. Mm. Well, that's because you're all into the techie side of this crap, huh? You're gonna be a great radio memory someday. Uh, <laughs> hey, I, you, I'm. You I'm do, just making. Uh, making I'll tell a you what, though. A, an important record, a finished product, something like an hour about the Bundy thing would be real. That would be real good. Yeah. And there's, that's what I'm going to be yeah. building. It's going to be You were third. there. Yeah. It's, uh, it's what I'm going to do is tell the story. And I'm going to start at the end. It is so important. Maybe to know. two hours. Yeah, well, it's going to be 13 week 
13 and a half weeks long. And That's what I mean. No, wait, 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 wait. Hold on. Wait a minute. Hold I on. know all in that. All of that. Wait a minute. In all of that, see, there's two <laughs> ways to write. <laughs> Think before you write is what a writer would do. <laughs> but you get to somebody like me and you have to. Uh, write to think or write, write while you're thinking. And then the biggest rule of all, thank you to my brother, Victor, revise, 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 revise. And uh -huh. this is what I'm studying. So this is in action writing of that. And it's going to be, uh, it's going to be titled standing matters. Uh, I, I got uh, subtitles in this and that, but anyways, well, I, I realized that but what I was suggesting to you, your eminence was a, a short version for people like me that have the attention span of a yes, wasp. Exactly. Once I that, sting you, my work is done. I will that be on is my the way. Vision. Absolutely. The complete revised revision has to come down within that tolerance of the attention span of a newt. Yeah. Yeah, yes. you got to play to the shallow end, or you're going to be out there just with just the smart people, and you know how few of us there are. <laughs> well, we hey, have come to, on, think about we it. Have to, we have to talk at a, about an eighth grade level, and preferably a fourth grade level uh, for most people to really have comprehension. They I lose would appreciate their, that. Lose, they you. lose. The, they lose. They'll lose their attention span. Yep. yep. And go on. I agree. Hey, so we're not supposed to agree. <sighs> well, I am the hijacker, so I'm glad that you have uh, decided to comply. Uh, yeah, well, compliance <clears throat> is my middle name, pal. I'm telling you. When I'm you... not breaking a rule, I'm fucking making a rule. How That's do you spell compliance? J-E-W. How do you spell it? I don't know. Comply to my people, or you go I, nowhere in life. Nowhere, I tell you, unless you live I, in an Arab land. I do not know how to spell compliance. Did I ever I tell, did, did I ever tell you what I think the problem <clears throat> between the Arab and the Americans is? Mm. Fellow redneck motherfucker you, out there. You, might, you may have. Yeah, I'm going to tell you again. What it's about is... <clears throat> The Arabs do a different kind of banking than Rothschild's banking. There you go. Rhodes is for revenueing. Yeah, I agree with him. Yes, thank you, Rob Works. And it's not like Rob wrote it. I mean, I'm not ignorant, but I agree with that concept. Yep. Rob's not old enough to have wrote it. We got. I gotta add that here. Um, Oh, Roses yeah. for revenue. <laughs> it sounds like some Jed Clampett would say, because I, I saw the first episode of the Beverly Hillbillies when the, they think that the oil guy is a revenuer. So I'm familiar with it. So maybe it's not. Maybe it is original. I just know enough of it to think it's not. Ooh, I just slapped Rob right in the eye. Sorry, Rob. <laughs> Having fun with the English language. <laughs> Nothing personal. Anyway, what's up? Hold on, keep talking. I was just teasing Rob because he, he wrote something I could play with, with words. Because tonight, we're cunning linguists, and we will butcher your input. We can show you the American side of anything in 20 minutes or less, by God and country. Yeah, that's right. Your roads, please. Your cars, all this crap and bullshit we got going on. Because when I started out driving, uh, it wasn't mandatory to have uh, car insurance. They were pretty, re uh, pretty insistent. You had license plates on the car and doors. <laughs> <laughs> I, re I remember that. They were real big on if you didn't have doors, you might be getting pulled over. <laughs> But you know, basic stuff. I was uh, I was driving back from California, and yeah. uh, I'd gone out there and moved back to Texas uh, during a time of separation. But anyways, there, me and my son are headed back, uh, and there I am, pretty close to to the land of Graham. I just come pulled the hill up, uh, going eastbound out of Albuquerque, a big wide stretch of the road. Uh, there, the highway patrol gets in behind me. And now I've got a, a big Chevrolet truck with a 454 in it, extension extension bumper uh, for 
poke, poking out the back and behind that I've got a, a old truck bed you know the step side bed uh, the fender wells and uh, with the topper on that and then buck bed uh, frame strapped on and tied down filled full of kids toys and I mean loaded to the gill <laughs> now, loaded I to the gill with I traded yeah. I traded for that trailer uh, in Vegas for a rick of wood and I valued it about fifty dollars reckon anyways I hauled it to California no tags on it that's why I got pulled over Ah, no he way. says, uh, yeah, he says, uh, uh, reason I pulled you over was I didn't see any tags on that trailer. I said, no, sir. I said that they ain't not on the truck neither. And he just kind of shook his head and looked at me. And look, as we come to the end, he says, where you come from and where am I going? And I tell him the story and he says, he says, you've made it this far. He says, I'm not going to shut you down. <laughs> and uh, on home to, to Texas, I went. Wow. Yeah, I've been treated decent by the law at large a few times in life. I mean, not every <laughs> encounter was shitty. Just Most of my encounters have always been, uh, you know, where nobody's getting harassed. Yeah, well, the more memorable ones are usually the nastier ones. <laughs> hey, I've got a good story for ass beating from the police, too. You beat their ass or they beat no, yours? No, no, you can't beat them. Yeah, you can there fight you go. Too. I just wanted to see if you're going to be an idiot or not. Okay. So your point, they, how bad they beat you? Oh, well, a couple of different times. Yeah, I, the yeah. first one was uh, I've never had a hurting put on me by uh, somebody in my life like that and not leave but a few marks. Yeah. They can get tough, man. Rough. Yes, uh, the police. Yeah. I don't like the police, and I don't even uh -huh. have a reason not to like them other than that they exist and do the horrid shit to people that they do. And as an example, let me let me make a point of saying, everybody that's ever been in, in under arrest land and taken to jail for smoking a joint, how did that person on the arresting side ever get to be conned into that bullshit in the first place? Because it, it took... <clears throat> It took Pardon? a lot. Of, it took a lot of propaganda and training to make people behave that negatively against something that now in 2018. Oh, look at what we've discovered. Uh, look what they hid from you for 80 years and lied the fuck about so that you'd buy this Rockefeller shit. You've been getting fucked the whole time, and here right. we are. Well, me and you seem to know it. Few folk on the RLM seem to know it. But if you look at the pu the public at large, most of them don't seem to know anything. I, I like to say real quick now, my encounters with police uh, now, I make sure that uh, there's no confusion and nobody gets uh, alarmed or excited. Uh, there's you, there's certain procedure that you really need to consider. Uh, oh, okay. And stop. Boom. There it is. It is 420 somewhere. Today's uh, Buzz Beaver report is brought to you by... RLO, that's why. RealLiberty.org. So you'll find the, the post over here about being civilized and a cunning linguist and so forth. Oh, so, so. Speaking of cunning linguists, I've Wait, got a just really, a moment. Hold on. You're I interrupted. Got, I know. Yeah, I got stop. a really good question. Wait, stop. Gotta, 420. Stop. 420 what? report. You, what no. is. Stop. Thank you. Eh. Ah. <laughs> this is the 420 <laughs> report from the Buzz Beaver. What is up? <laughs> What is Acapulco Gold, you say? <laughs> One of the most legendary strains in cannabis culture is Acapulco Gold. Yeah. That's badass weed. <sighs> All right, carry on you anyway. with the 1965 edition of the Oxford, Oxford English Dictionary. Yes, well, it is yeah, a see, great of cannabis. Yeah, but that's how, that's how they fucking do this, is with the different languages. So I've I've turned not speaking Danish into a uh, an art form, I think. I'm making the best of this, and and the people that and the people that I encounter still to this day, most of them learn English in school anyway. They just say it's hey, get a chance to practice my English because I don't sp you speak a lot of it, but we learn it in school. So I'm, wow, clever. And then they play online games too. 
but a lot of the competition they'll get here is Germans. So they get, you know, English speaking and then German and then, then Danish on, on online. And then you have people that speak uh, Danglish. Hey, Circle. Well, I wouldn't say it's uncommon for people in this area of the world to speak three or four. Not maybe not fluently, but at least enough to get through. And it's kind of, you know, it's it's good. I like that. But so many people speak English, you really can't lose on it. You know, it's not like I'm speaking Farsi or something. And what is what? Do you, do you speak Persian? No. No, but Freddie Mercury probably did. Yeah, uh, yeah, that was a pretty good. Uh, that's a pretty good tie-in. I have to go check it out. But my guys over there, that uh, some people are not. I call them patties. So I, I had get, a great I, question I get, for you too, and I couldn't say it because eh, now I can't remember what it was. Ah, you prick! You yeah. four twentyed me right into a coma. Thank you. Now, when I, I wonder if I can make some money off this in Admiralty Court. Yeah. Uh, hey, yeah. I'll bet in America I could, like, sue you for, like, 12 different things. No, come on. Really? Yeah. You don't think so? America's yeah. pretty, uh, they're pretty law happy over there. So, sure. Yeah. Uh, sure. I could probably yeah. sort through and find a death threat in, in the comment, you know, in your, in your dialogue through the years. Just edit it out and then make it sound like <laughs> threats from Vinny. <laughs> So we got uh, the Do You Fantango, my uh, my secret identity on Twitter to be able to get in to see such uh, postings or tweets that is from people like uh, JJ McNabb, the uh, uh, homegrown American terrorist expert, uh, people like uh, Kieran Suckling, biological uh, Center for Biological Diversity. Hey, hey you know, what? You're interrupted. Yeah, no. Did when you were traveling around the states the let that last year and a half. Did, did you ever meet anybody out there that was binary? <laughs> I don't know. What? Well, how come? What are you talking about? I see this on the internet all the time about people that don't want to answer to he or she, that they're not sexual. <laughs> You're not supposed to call them he or she anymore. Male or female is is wrong. <laughs> So I, I thought maybe you'd run into some of those kind of people. I'm just fascinated by the idea. <laughs> like, I, or, yeah, I, I mean, I've seen people like, like that. Like, really? Well, okay, tell me, what did you see? Uh, oh, people that dress funny. Oh, come on, that's not much of an excuse. They dress funny, wow. So, yeah, it was somebody in Walmart, and he was, it was a guy, and he had like, guy. yeah, but he had big boobs. <laughs> okay. I, I, I'll give you another example. Hold on. I, I'll okay. give you. I'll give you another example. Back in uh, 2011, I was on, on one of my trips, and I was camped out in the middle of the desert, right? Yes. Uh, Black Rock exit in the Arizona Strip. Okay. Uh, anyways, here I am on a high on a hilltop, and uh, people just like get off the interstate and drive out through there. Uh, you can't go there now; it's closed off. Uh, I stopped there on my way back from uh, Denver. Uh, it's closed off and the mining operations take taking up uh, uh, their operation again. Anyways, uh, there I am. And a lot of people are driving in and out. And uh, I haven't caught on yet. But so anyways, I'm walking. Uh, I know I walks. And here's a car and a truck side by side. And they're sitting there chatting in the middle of the road. And I'm walking on by. And the one guy looks at me and he's like, Cool looking dudes, red hair and uh, a beard. Uh, and I go, yeah. And I, I'm like, hey, what's going on? And I'm waving as I'm walking by. And <clears throat> as I look into the passenger window passing, uh, dude's got big old boobies. And I was like, <laughs> uh, what, what? What am I seeing here? And it, and it, it's it's dawning on me as I, my jaw drops and I'm walking on. Why all these guys are like? cruising around and stuff i'm seeing i never put it together one guy had stopped and he's like talking to me for like uh, 30 minutes and never i never realized what it was there and then i realized this is like a cruise spot they had to leave out of uh, st george you know and 
because uh, it's so uh, highly religiously controlled by the, the Mormon church to I guess that's the uh, the place to go for hookup there and you were <laughs> right there in the middle of everything <laughs> yeah I, and me I'm I'm usually a more astute than that and yeah didn't hit me so there, there you go yeah I'm not sure if he identified as a man or a woman uh, but uh, I other than these anomalies you'll have this stuff that's mix up in nature and where certainly there is the uh, both or a single or a confusion of, of gender uh, all together. And so you know, who's to say? And then you have the conditioning and the manipulation of, uh, of the transgender movement uh, that is uh, today. Uh, the, 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 you know, the feminizing of the male culture and not only through uh, a stimulation through uh, what you ingest, uh, and pharmaceuticals and so forth, yeah. but all, all, also in the culture and in the education system. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I know. So but you know, the, you know what it sounds like to me, Mister. Yeah. It, it sounds like you trying to describe why you like the taste of chicken. <clears throat> it, it, really? It, yeah, it's just it's useless. It it was like, huh? Because you're describing something I have never been aware of seeing when i saw it i'm sure i've seen that shit i mean i've been around the world but i'm so blind even with a pair of glasses i miss a lot of shit that's obvious to some people but i usually don't miss the cars rolling down the road other than that or the nice building I might catch that but people and not so much so my interest must be laying in another area than yours sir Hey, you brought it up, mister. Yeah, well, I, that's my job. Yeah, you want to hear the, the first encounter I ever had? I with was 16, what? 16, Wait a minute. With, with uh, uh, okay, what do you say? Uh, uh, not, boy, I hate to be crude. I can't be crude. I have to be crude. Not chicks with dicks, dudes with tits. Right. Uh, that's what the first encounter I, I am, 16. Take a bus down to uh, New Orleans from <laughs> Baton Rouge. I'm going to uh, Bourbon Street and party, yeah. boy. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. So I'm walking. I'm walking down Bourbon Street, and uh, here's this bar. Big old uh, doorman sitting there, uh, and, and I'm looking in, and, and I'm like, "Hey, uh, I'm seeing this sign out of the corner of my eye. This is uh, female impersonators," and I'm like, "Uh." Wait a minute. Does that mean they're impersonating famous females or impersonating females? He says, <laughs> right. <laughs> first, time, to have first, their first, first time. Thank God there was the titty tape, the little band-aids over the nipples that, that saved the, all the uh, uh, <laughs> angst, I guess. <laughs> well, what happens if you see the female nipple? Your burns your corneas or something, right? It's well, it was actually a dude's nipple, though. It's like smoking that joint that turns you into a bat. But I was looking at a dude's nipple. Ah, it was okay. <sighs> Great story, Vinny. Thanks for telling me. <laughs> wow. <clears throat> I'll never, I'll never be the same after that. <laughs> it's kind of scary. You no, know, it's. Totally fucking frightening is what it is. I have yuck. Yeah. <laughs> Not the personal, but nah, I'm I'm a traditional. I I like the females to play with. Ah, I get back in zap speaking don't fartsy. Know why. <laughs> but oh, wait a minute, we need a celebratory poot. Thank you very much. Well, apparently now the the verbal game has changed so badly that you insult people to the point of. They deserve to sue you or something. There's some kind of legal shit goes on now because of what, what words you use on Facebook. That's a good thing, right? Are you out of your fucking mind? I don't know. Do you think for two seconds that I give a shit what you may or may not write about me, Vincent? Please. I'm in a. I'm writing stuff about you right now. Exactly, and it's you know sometimes it's just fucking funny, and sometimes it's uh, there goes Vinny again. I hey, don't know. I, I've got. I'd have to go find it, but the, yeah, but. the thing about uh, that's over on real 
uh, RLO too. Uh, yeah, about writing the stories that's going to be told about you. Make sure you have that pen in your own hand. Well, All right. Rob, Rob threw up a, a link about, I'm just going to read the title. Paris Tax Revolts. The world begins to realize the truth about government. Yeah, well, the sad part about all this real part about government or no part about government is the stories are big enough and the control is so deep-rooted into us as a collective that you're going to be on the side that you're already on no matter what happens with the world. You're going to continue to do what you've always done which is more than likely just threaten to vote harder. Because <laughs> if, if you think about it hard enough, if you have a problem with the world, it's you that has the problem. The world doesn't give a fuck. <laughs> the world doesn't even notice you. And it doesn't matter how rich you are or not. The world does not recognize one person. People recognize one person. And that's their weakness. The blind faith and the trust in these lying fucking thieves that destroy life around us every day. And they call it progress and they give it all kinds of fucking titles and names and presidents and queens and all this crap and bullshit. Derivatives. <laughs> Plenty of oil to burn so that we can't live properly. you know. And then they tell you after they fuck it up that, well, there's no cure for all this. <laughs> I challenge them <laughs> that if they stopped using oil tomorrow morning at 6 a.m., I could have things replaced and up and running in six months, tops. Mm. That, would and, be, that would be an incredible uh, endeavor. In a perfect world, Vinny, because the, 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 the planet itself is designed to survive whatever it goes through, like we are. And we're like, we're like, seem like, like a virus that's attacking the earth, you know, and I look at oil, the oil they suck out of the earth, like, like it's some kind of a good thing. I've always thought maybe that's what it's cool in the earth, like a, in an engine, the same principle. That's what the oil is really in the ground to do, but they suck it out. And what do they put back in its place? <laughs> Huh? They huh? they dump huh? they dump a lot of fracking water and stuff like huh? that back down there in waste. Oh, that stuff bubbles up and leaks back into. Uh... Oh, okay, so right, so let's just say that they stuck a needle in you and sucked out <laughs> some of your blood, right? And then they stuck another needle in you and they put back in it some of the shit out of the garbage disposal. How long do you think you're gonna live? <laughs> <laughs> Never mind. I guess my question was too deep for you yeah, tonight. That is just redundant. I mean, question there. How long will you live? You keep sucking stuff out that you need to live your life for us. That's, that's the entirety of the, the whole occupation that we're in. It's sucking the life for, for us out. They rob you of, of your riches to uh, hidden taxes by what? Uh, they don't even have to tax you on something. You could take, uh, say, inflate the money supply by 30%. What what happens? You don't pay a 30% tax that you'd say, hey, wait a minute, I want to pay this. No, the value of the money has decreased where that's added on at the other end. So right, like, go ahead, raise the minimum wage. What does that do? It raises up the other where it passed on to the person having to buy. And then you have no, no choice but to use that system of uh, currency um, or Try to do something else and see what happens to you. People have tried it and they beat them down. So what do you do? I don't know. I avoid it, <clears throat> I think. But the, Com our, pri our prison's better than your prison. Na -na 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 -boo -boo. Comply or die. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, that's, that's the name of the game. But on a personal level, you know you can do things externally that appear to be compliant because that's the only way to look at that particular thing. You know, like living inside. <laughs> Excuse me. Hey, good. Li hey, living that, inside. Uh, I When I was a kid, I don't remember seeing tents on the streets. People living in the in the street. That was unheard of.
well, it's been happening for a long time. It's the way most people used to have to live. Right. We're, well, we're, uh, you know, a modern world. Right. Exactly. So then why are, are eight people getting paid all the all the big money and everybody else gets nothing? See, and, and that whole mentality works for these idiots. They think that's the greatest thing there is. So that a handful of people can own everything and everybody else has to beg those five people to have stuff. <sighs> okay. That's pretty cool, Grimmer. That's a nice pick. And I happen to think that if we lived in smaller places without all that outside interference, that EU shit comes in and dictates what, where your trash gets picked up. I mean, they make all these uh, nonsensical, fucking stupid rules to go through this performance of, um, what do they call it? When you reuse shit? Uh, Recycle. Recycle. Reuse. Yeah, well, yeah, that recycling program crap. And it, it to me, it's just a bunch of paperwork that people went through to get us to dance to a song that doesn't really exist. Because at the end of the fucking dump, they just dump it all together and get rid of it. So they, they put the population through all these dances to justify their fucking jobs. Because if you ask people, well, what has the EU done? Well, they sure have a lot of rules that you have to fucking follow or your services aren't going to be met. There's oh, did, rules. I, did I tell you they had a big train strike here last week? Oh, yeah? Yeah, it took like three days or something to sort it out. It was about the uh, something about the hours work per week, and and the the train the train started at where Thursday. Some of the some of the um, trains had decided they're not going to run, and Cert got sucked into that shit. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. I remember. Right. <clears throat> well, the day after that, the <clears throat> the so, two other unions of what, some other kind said they're going to support their strike <laughs> so it was a it was a big deal to the danish public not to the world the world could give two flying fucks and, but these danes you had you want to try to you know get them to work two more hours a, a month and not pay them for it or that not give them a choice to and they're going to say fuck off <laughs> it's yeah 38 hour work week is, is uh what Cirque has. Thirty hours. Thirty eight, you idiot. Thirty eight. Sorry. Five, well, there's a big difference between thirty and thirty eight. But still the forty hour work week is it's na uh, international. Some well, some countries do a seven day week. Depends on the country you're in. America does. America, some states do 24-hour shifts 24 every day of the year. Hey, there's uh, here's one from uh, Grimner. Uh, what what is I already know what you'll say. What what do you think uh, about speaking uh, kindly of the dead or not? Bush was detestable. Oh, he was he was the the pond scum of pond scum. Oh yes, what a what a yeah. evil history the Bushes and. Uh... Well, see, it, to me, it's not so much the evil history; it's the lying about what really happened, the misdirection, the, the make it a, about something else to disguise what it truly was. Ah, oh, come on, man! It's still a fucking massacre, no matter how you cut it, and it was still these fucking people's money and and their influence supporting it. They killed a lot of people, man. I don't get why either. All this bombing is, they're bombing, and they claim, well, we're, we're aiming for, you know, certain targets. Get the fuck out of here. <sighs> wow. So instead of, you know, enough people with some common decency standing up and saying, we don't need to do this shit. This is stupid. This is pointless. There's got to be a better way to deal with people than that. No, they... They declare war and give you reasons that aren't even true. They even attack themselves and blame it on the opposition to justify what they're going to do to you. <laughs> Check out Vietnam sometime. Oh, it was beautiful. Follow the Ho Chi Minh Trail. Hey, and you know what? They were really clever, too, with the, the public. They never declared it a war. It was a military. Police a, action. Police action. Yeah. Fuck. The, who, who's police? Police. Oh, 
Yeah. Oh, that. <laughs> Vinny's playing. You're playing with whites again there, Vincenzo. Uh, Cunning, isn't it? A little bit, yeah. Uh, but not really. Let's uh, see. Who asked you? Oh, I did. <laughs> uh, so, what are you doing over the holidays this year? Uh, eating. Oh, boy. No, I mean, are, are you? Man, I are was you... like, oh, I stuffed myself for a week at Thanksgiving. They don't do Thanksgiving in Denmark, you dumbass. I don't care what you do well, in Denmark. I well, then care why what would I you do think, right here. You why would you me. think I recognize that as a holiday? Boy, you get, did you bump your head? You're a turkey, and turkeys <laughs> are very interested about all things Thanksgiving. <laughs> <laughs> turkeys are smart birds. They're smarter than no, the fucking no, eagle. No, 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 you know that no, you're, no, no. Yeah, your American eagle is a scavenger bird. It's, it's not a very good bird. Oh, they kill too. I mean, they catch fishies. And... Yeah, but this is what I mean. They, they're scab. They're like catfish. They're opportunists. They feed off the man. bottom of shit. Yeah. No, they. They no. Please, they're, they're. You don't see them attacking. You know, like elephants and you know giraffes and shit. Huh. Well, they're too big. That That's would be my crazy. fucking point. They're not what they're made out no. to be. Are the they turkey. not? Are they not smarter? A turkey's smarter. A turkey oh, would figure yeah. out how, how to many trap you. how many elephants have you ever seen a turkey attack? Uh, none. <laughs> I've never seen a turkey attack an elephant. Well, there you have it. Turkey attack. <laughs> gobble gobble. Okay, I don't know what that meant, but we'll we'll live with it. So we're in this perfect world, right? And what I I was telling uh, Moose last week. That she didn't agree with. And me and Cirque were talking about that today. Uh, again, because it comes up in the internet world quite a bit and shit we watch. And that's how the fear mongering works to make something against the law. Otherwise, if they passed a law without any fear to back up the law, how would they justify it? What would they? They still do it today. It's the same old shit. Now, cl what, now it's climate change. So they guilt and bully you into, if you don't agree with this unproven shit, well, then you're against us, and therefore you're wrong. <laughs> and no. that, But that's the fucking way it works, Charlie. There's fucking hundreds of millions of dollars of whatever this crap is they do supporting this nonsense. Me no VC. Okay, well, whatever. We'll never get we'll never get a world that's run on cannabis. You know what? I was uh, listening to a link the other day or a movie, and it made a comment about the uh, the link between <clears throat> hemp and cannabis. Well, the, there is no connection between them except they're cousins of one plant. They're just one plant does one thing and the other plant does everything. <laughs> That's they, pretty much yeah. Yeah, there's pretty much a, it. They they do a lot. No, I said one plant uh, does one particular and, thing and, and, and the action. other and the other plant, its cousin hemp, does everything. But get you high. It's the only property it doesn't have. There's no buzz off smoking hemp. You get a headache. But they con the public into believing to this day that there's some connection between the two plants on the on the getting high part hey. or the, or this other shit here's what else I'm pissed off about is Monsanto went and fucking synthesized cannabis to make an oil to sell the CBD the CBD oil but it's I think it's synthetic it's a synthetic version of the original. <clears throat> Otherwise, why would they need to? Why would they have to patent the fucking? You know, no, this thing's for, too uh, big for yeah. ownership. Yeah, and yeah, and then the price of it, it doesn't, it doesn't make any sense. It's way too expensive. So again, their their fear mongering is done so subtly. They're still in control of this fucking plant that should be free to us to use as we wish. Every other plant is. You can take it. You can marry a carrot, go home, stuff it up your ass, and then eat it if you want to. And nobody can put you in jail for doing that. But if you smoke pot in the wrong state or country, you know, depending on the laws, there's what the fuck. 
I think the world is insane, Vincent. Well, that would appear to be at least uh, the mind of a madman. Well, do you have the mind of a madman? I get mad sometimes. Well, how do you judge a madman if you don't can't think like one? What are you doing? Are you just repeating what other people told you, sir? Sometimes. Are you, are you not having an original thought again? I told you about that. <laughs> Only original thoughts, damn it. <laughs> I don't need that secondhand shit from Trump. Trump. Like, is it like secondhand smoke? No, I was thinking of Frumpy Trumpy because I saw Frumpy's name on the on the text screen and I thought of Trump. <laughs> Frump Trump. <laughs> Never mind. Uh, what can I tell you? Hey, they're not all winners, but you never know. So, what... What are we going to argue about now, sir? Uh, uh, how you dress? In clothes. Okay. Got that one. Yeah, I'm boring. I wear pants and shoes and shirts. Is it cold in Denmark? Only outside. <laughs> yeah, that's right. If that's you're all. inside, probably not. Unless, it's... of course, maybe you don't have windows or something. <laughs> Well, it's, it's cold outside. Yeah, well, one of my neighbors is replacing three of the damn windows in the house, too. We got uh, we got two houses across the road that these workers rent them out. Yeah, and then, like, six or eight guys share the house for a while and go to work, go remodel something. and Then they go off to where they're going. Some guys come in later. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. And... They were replacing the windows in in the house today in the December. <laughs> Fucking crazy. Hey Grimner, do you have uh do you have the link to that uh you posted it somewhere? The uh it's cold outside. It might be on Twitter. Uh oh, they you banned can't. that song. Yeah, yeah. What was that about? Banned a song from Twitter. Yeah, because no means no. And uh whether there's snow or no. Got to go. No means no. Yeah, yeah. Be so, because you heard it in a song, you're gonna pound, go rape pound, somebody. Pound me, yeah. Uh. Have you ever have you ever committed rape over a music? No, I haven't. Me have neither. That's you like, know. have you ever beaten your wife? Question, or have you stopped beating your wife? Question. What kind of question is that? Uh, I don't know. Obviously, uh, you're trying to say pound, pound me too. I don't know. Oh yeah, I remember those hash mark things right it's cold out you're you're being all tricky and stuff stop stop being all tricky it can nah. me. i have to I have to resort to violence and threaten you how could i threaten you with violence <laughs> that'd be kind of hard well if you had a an army of drones maybe uh, well Maybe if I had an airplane, I could just have you brought over here and just kick your lily white ass all over the street. Can you hear this? Can you, I'll hear uh, it down, down stream. It'd be uh, the funniest. Not... It would be the funniest thing you ever saw because I'm about half as big as you are. So you'd be laughing so hard you just take the ass whipping. <laughs> uh, comic, comic relief. <laughs> you gotta know when to hold them and. Okay, it was in Grammy's last week's podcast blog. We'll be find them there, and uh, I'll post this uh, post this one too. There's a, like a long video of it from the movie, and they're singing the song. Yeah, yeah. there you go. You post it, see, but yeah. but it got. And I'll fetch Grammys. All right. Well, to all you people out there that still support the Beast, you know, I support the Beast enough myself. I know. I just do it differently. You know, but one of the beasts I don't serve is the electronic world beast. I starve that fucker. No Facebook. No Twitter. And I'll probably never be popular with people and all that horse shit. But you know what? I'm not feeding the beast. There you go. That So my contribution is not contributing. <laughs> and that's a Jew for you. <laughs> that's what we do, baby. <laughs> Man, you gotta wow. stop with this. You gotta stop with this. You gotta stop with this fake Jew business, baby. Yeah, but it gives me a good opportunity to make fun of the Jews. So shut up. Yeah. 
I, I'm going to send somebody around to see you, and uh, we're going to trim that nose of yours, buddy. In your dreams. Hey, though, you know, yeah. that, ah, all that tough guy bullshit for when you're 12 and 14. You don't 12 and 14, none. Well, when I, when I was like 15, I, I had a neighbor that didn't like me because his, his little sister did. And we we came to physical violence in front of my house one day. He attacked me. <laughs> See. That was terrible. Oh, man. Yeah. Almost dented my own truck door with his head. <laughs> my brother and, and the, my other friend was just kind of laughing. <laughs> Anyway, didn't last very long, but people were vicious, man. They once upon a time they used to lay their hands upon me physically, like the police, you know, and go, "Hey, nay unto you, swine! I'm gonna take that shit." <laughs> what are you doing? Are Are you masturbating in slow motion? <laughs> That'll do. That'll do. <laughs> Well, you just dump me on this shit and leave, fucker. What are you doing? I'm looking for things like uh, over here at Grammy Mary's oh, uh, last you're... Wednesday. Um, yeah. What'd she say? Oh, I was looking for the pound me too business about uh, baby is cold outside. Uh, I'm gonna include that in this uh, week's blog. Blog. But... So, anyways, I, I'll come back to that. I've got it linked there. I'm adding the whole thing there. So, do you think the world is on fire and people are going to all kiss the great one's ass and croak and all that? And to whom do you refer as the great one? All of us. Hey. The great you know, one? Yeah. How can we all do be one? That, well, because we really are. If you technically think oh. about this, you're connected to everything on a, like a molecular level. Because it's all surrounding you. So, yeah. It doesn't start and end anywhere. There's, It's beyond vision. It's beyond what you can physically explain to somebody else in a few sentences. It doesn't work that way. But, yeah, we're all connected and through the waves we're to each other. So we're like one big asshole. <laughs> you know? And it's, it's like... The part of the brain that does all the stupid thinking is the one that's in charge. Large and in charge. I'm at large. That's where I list myself as being. There in uh, Scaramouche, do you yeah. untangle? No, I absolutely don't. But I I could always learn. Mm, pardon me. If, if I ever get bored... I will try to learn how to do that after I decipher whatever it means. But you guys are really, look at you guys. They're all stuck on this one thing about baby it's cold outside. Baby but, it's cold. Uh, all right, but still, see, you, whatever that beast Twitter and F Facebook is, it doesn't need the, to be fed and nourished, but it, it gets daily jolts, and it's, it's served by Trump tweets <laughs> how many million people i mean think of the if rob works got a, a pretty good idea he set me on that brainwaves thing i like that idea it makes sense to me right because if enough people believe the same thing at the same time you're not going to and ever convince them of the truth because they believe what they believe already and that's you want the it. truth you can't handle the truth. <laughs> well, you get it then. I, I didn't know if it was a hard point I was trying to make. Thank you, Vincent. But yeah, I don't think uh, I don't think that we can't handle the truth. I think that that's what they tell people so that they'll accept that you can't handle the truth. <laughs> okay, well that's enough for me. I'll stop there. Thank you. I, I, I'm afraid you're right. <sighs> yeah, yeah. Very, yeah. Fr because, very, very frightening. We're apparently, we're dealing with people that are insulted so badly by words that they want financial and fucking police activity taken to protect them from hurting, people hurting them with words. It, it's stupid. I mean, where the fuck did these idiots come from? That's censorship, you morons. Galileo that is, that is cunt 
troll from the fucking word cunt. I'm telling you, it's not good. I don't know why anybody would want to do it. Well, I, yeah, I do know why, and I did it for the same reasons, but when they pushed me out, I stayed out. I didn't beg them to let me back in the fucking boom, boom, Facebook. Boom, boom. And I'm still kind of pissed off that uh, like, I'm, I'm a minority of like one. Yeah, big baby. <laughs> You got a Facebook page. You're not going to give. I've up got several. Butthole. There See? are many Vinnies in See? this world. Thank you very much. It, that's what I mean. Instead of fueling something better, you fuel Facebook. You fuel fucker. <laughs> I don't know what else to call you. Yeah, I had that, to make something up. Well, Grimner singing, I think. <laughs> Oh, he's just doing a little Beatles. I am the walrus. Well, boy, I'll tell you what. Life changed for me when I realized that it was true that we, we, it's, we've lived through society's lies about so many different topics, about all the important upfront stuff. You know what I mean? Like fluoride's good for you and. You know, Oswald shot Kennedy and 9-11. All the real, the great big hits of the, you know, of the USA. Fractional reserve fucking banking. No, that's European, but, you know, it was adopted by the U.S. through Europe because he's thieves in Congress. Today in history, in 1913, we are fastly approaching the installation of the Federal Reserve Act and income taxes to support the monetary system. Well, the public bought it. Hey, I buy that. People, enough dollar. people believed it. That's that's see that's what I mean, Vinny. If if you if you convince people that there's a, a god and a devil and they believe it, and they agree with it, then to those people there is. And to um, those of us... That's and, and, all a trick in convincing you that the devil never existed. See, there you go. And that's your story. Whoop, whoop. But it's... to to Between me and you, it's not a... Uh, it's an identifying thing, not a ridiculing thing. Well, let me say this. I am here as you are here. As you are me, and we are all together. Yeah. Well, I bet you didn't write it. <laughs> you know. Mm. No, I'm pretty sure of it. I I read it in a. Uh, I saw it on the internet. <laughs> it's it's got to be true. It's I, so. I I heard it on the grapevine. <laughs> it's so true. It left a skid mark. Anyway, speaking of skid marks, what have I got for notes here? Because, let's see, I wanted to talk about something of major importance uh -oh. in the world. Does that mean i got to pay attention? Uh, no, I just wanted to know what you had to say about this, you butt nugget. Now, oh, uh, you know what? First, I was going to tell a, a I got a, a short story, but I want to retell it because I tried to open the dork table with we're, it Saturday. We're, we're into the second hour. Yeah, second hour. First, yeah, I think you've got this chronologically okay, out of order. Well, whatever, <laughs> chronologically out of order. Anyway, I, in, <clears throat> Go ahead. I had some time to think about and get correct a few dates because off the cuff, it's a hard time, time <clears throat> to, to, to remember off the cuff. So I've had a few days to think about it. Anyway. In 1996, I went to Scotland to go see my folks in the Orkneys. And as a promotional with the airline ticket my folks got, <clears throat> I had a, a round-trip ticket to London, and it was open-ended for so long. I could just stay in London as long as I wanted to. So anyway, I went to go visit my grandmother. And my grandmother was very happy to see me, but yet didn't think that uh, the neighborhood had stayed the way it was the last time I was there. And said you, that I would probably be happier if I went to go visit my my uncle at the time. So I said, you know, I stayed the night and woke up in the morning, said goodbye, and I left. Well, what? And then I went. I went off to a place near Nottingham. That's where. Uh, the Robin, sheriff, yes. Robin Hood, right. Robin Hood. Okay, it's real. 
and there's a little town called Darby that's right, right, like within miles of it, and that's where I was going. And Did was you? Sorry. Were you in search of the merry men? No, I was in search of a town from, called Darby, le, for, uh, north of England. I think. Where, I think it where was you? North of England. Where you wearing tights? Of London. Were you wearing tights? Fuck no! I'm leaving. Uh, uh, see, you didn't even start with a good plan. No, 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 no. Did no, you? Ever, I, did you ever have any hopes of being able to join this band of merry men? Have you ever been on an English train? I <laughs> know. Okay. Now this is like commuting to these people. They work in the city, and some of them live in Derby or further out, and they take the train as a commute. So I jumped on the train. And I'm take up a table, you know, where there it's enough room for four people. So I'm figuring, now eh, maybe somebody will sit down. And I can, you know, have somebody to bullshit with or something because it's train train rides are a drag. And all everybody that comes on the fucking train has their newspaper and they'll sit down and they start reading because they're all introverted readers and you know they they're not out they're not in the world they're getting through the world. <laughs> so you leave those poor people alone. Well, anyway, about halfway through the trip, it's like, I don't remember, maybe a couple of hours from London to Derby. But halfway through the trip, guy sits across the table, and he's got long hair, and he's dressed kind of raggedy like me. And I thought, eh, there's somebody that might be so halfway decent. The next thing he does is pulls out a fucking newspaper and starts doing a crossword. <laughs> anyway, so there's nobody to talk to. I'm just... You know, going on the train, trying to get this place. And the, the conductor comes by, and I'm bored. So I said, hey, how many more stops till we get to Darby? And the guy across the seat, the seat with the crossword puzzle says, hey, I'm going to Darby. I'll take care of this. And then he goes on to tell me how it was my lucky day. You know, said, why are you going to Darby? I can tell you pretty much anything you want to know. So I said, I was looking for a bar and a bed pretty much a place to kill for about a week I'm meeting a relative because that was the original plan was I was going to spend the week in London and go meet my my uncle at this particular um, city Derby and he was going to pick me up so I had a whole week or might have been five days wait something like that five to seven days I can't really remember that part well but anyway, so I'm on this train the guy's telling me oh yeah I've got the I, I live in the place and it's got a, a good pub downstairs and so many floors and rooms upstairs come on with me and i'll take care of everything and i didn't know you know here i am a stranger in london you know in in the england in the first place right traveling around and just my luck i meet the one guy that can set me up without a problem oh so, man or, or it could be the start of a very scary novel Oh yeah, man, the yeah. things and, that could happen to you. Yeah, and I in have a, split. a very nice place for you in my basement, I do. <laughs> right, and a part of but see, I've always said on the radio that predators never really do. <laughs> they don't. I don't attract predators, so I I went I went long, and I but I thought possibly, but nah, I went nah, sucker. I went, nah, I'm gonna go. And it turns out there was a bar down. There's a the first floor was a bar. It was called the Football Club. And everybody that lived there was an alcoholic drunk or something. <laughs> there was shit to smoke and people to drink with and a shower and, you know, pri uh, privacy and, and a room to sleep in, place to eat. And that was that was where I stayed for the for the days until my cousin, my, my uncle came to pick me up. And I only met him the one time. It was really a shame. He was a really nice guy. But that's, the, I just thought that story was so bizarre. When it happened to me, I thought, wow, nobody would believe me if I told them. You know, it was like, how the hell does that ever happen? You know, usually you hear somebody tell you, and I met some stranger on a train. And that's how I ended up with one leg. <laughs> Not everything worked out just the way the guy said it would. He was fucking nice as fuck. He's just a nice guy. Happened to meet somebody traveling on a train. And said, "Yeah, come come to where I stay. They they treat you all right." 
Yeah, and all the you know along the way, I thought, wow, this is sure too good to be true. I wonder if I'm going to get fucked over somehow. <laughs> all the way to the when then when I saw the bar, then I went, oh man, oh it's true because we had to walk a, ba- a ways to get there, and he's got to talk to me and keep me entertained, you know, not uh, make me afraid and worry that I'm like going <laughs> to get skinned alive by a, you know the potato peel, peel the potato peeler killer. <laughs> it puts the lotion on its skin. <laughs> That would be horrible. But yeah. But, but there. So I, wait a minute. Let me get this right. He, he says he's got a place for you uh, down in his mother's basement. No, no, no. You're wait, exaggerating. Well, well, okay. Well, tell me that. Tell, tell me. He offers you this place to stay, right? Where is it? No, at? he asked me what I was looking for. Mm-hmm. And he was He says this is your lucky day. Yeah. Because he was staying in a place that that my description fit. That was what the place was. It had a bar downstairs and two or three floors of rooms above it. And you just, there you go, rent that. So I did. And he was staying there and he met, you know, he introduced me and a bunch of other people that all stayed there. They're all fucked up, drinking, smoking. Who knows what they weren't doing. But anyway, so I spent my time there. I go meet my uncle. I spend a weekend with him, and then I have to go back to uh, back to <clears throat> Westry, Westry Island. It was way before they moved to Kirkwall. So, anyway, when I get back to uh, my parents' house, the first thing I find out is my my mom, my grandmother had died. They said that I was the last one in the family to see her. So, wow. yeah, she. So she got rid of me because she wasn't well, and instead of nine one one and all that, she just decided to let it go. That's what I thought. I got to see my grandpa before he died. Uh, I'll tell you, I, I spent some years on the lam, and uh, yeah, I was on my way back to uh, to turn myself in there and uh, stop to go see my grandpa. He died while I was in prison. Yeah. So when I was leaving him, he says, uh, he says, be a good boy, son. Are you listening now? Me? Yeah. Well, it's never too late. You can always change your mind and be good if you want. To. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's my uh, that that's my path that I I set upon is uh, is good. Absolutely. But I still think that your intentions somehow dictate a result, not so much your actions, because shitty, shitty, nasty, fucking scummy people <coughs> have wealth have plenty of wealth. I'm rich. Okay, Vinny. I, hmm. What good, <clears throat> good, nice people don't have money. That uh, some, glass some of water people that I'm drinking right there. Yeah, that, that is uh, that's some kind of good. <laughs> some people, yeah, see, some people would love to have that right there. Yeah, and you can appreciate that you have it. Some people just don't even think about it don't really understand how poisons work <laughs> you know? can you can you imagine if the definition of fluoride working was voter registration <laughs> driver's license property tax <laughs> this, See, without, these are these are all good things right yeah, without the fluoride in your water, are, are you fluoride. sure you, you would be for it? If oh, it, it's free though. I mean, come on, think about it. Most people got to get their fluoride in uh, other sources. <laughs> yes. well, you do, do you realize that in in a sense, everything in life is free? Are you sure? Yeah, in a, in a sense, you may yeah. you may. You may work and, and be organized and all that horseshit, but whether you steal it or work for it or don't bother with any of it, it's still there. I'd like to start a petition at this time to free the fluoride. Yeah, well, that's crazy. Fluoride is actually a waste product, pal. Do a little reading about it. You know, people say, well, read, you know, see a link. Do that sometime. About all these things that we were raised to believe were helping us and how at the end of your days you find out that all that shit was a bunch of bullshit lies to get you to buy a, a, a waste product as something that was, that's wrong. How do you justify that? Good business. Uh, 
Okay, you justify that they legally get away. See, this is why your laws are a bunch of crap to me, man. Well, listen, no listen. Look at laws. it. <clears throat> look at it this way: if what? you had all this uh, industrial pollution, and you've yeah. got to pay and pay dearly because it is hazardous waste. Yeah. Now, wouldn't it make better sense to sell that mm -hmm. to municipalities across this mm -hmm. great nation and disperse it in small amounts throughout the water supply? You know, it would make more sense to me to, to make a, a small community Ow. less than, let's say less than 20,000, 30,000 would be too, would be just between 20 and 30,000 in a, an area with enough um, land to occupy, so everybody could occupy an acre. And that wouldn't be overcrowding. Yeah, if ideally if you had five acres. I'm in a. Well, I'm in a perfect, you know, in a perfect world, you want yeah. to go with five. Okay. In yeah. a perfect world, the standard for perfection now has hit five. <laughs> okay. You lucky people out there at Radio Land, your, your standard of living is being maintained for you this evening in a perfect world for no charge. <laughs> so in a perfect world, we got five acres of land. Well, see, there you go. That's why I was saying one acre because in a, in a society... You don't want to have to travel so fucking far you can't get there. All right? And if you strategically put things in places where they would support the most, uh, they would be used properly. That's the way I was trying to get to. Instead of uh, doing your life how it's happenstance, wherever you can put shit, if you purposely put things where they belong, <laughs> like in, in some kind of a mental order, and, of course, if you were working off of clean products in the first place, there's a lot of things that are out of our control because we depend on so many outside sources for so much crap. And, and people think that uh, this billionaire, trillionaire thing is the way. And if it was just smaller places instead of everybody living in 10 million people in one city, it's stupid. And to me, I don't, I don't see. <laughs> I did it. I, I see that, you know, the appeal to it when you're young, but boy, when you get older, you start, I don't know how you can live on the sixth floor of anything at my age and be comfortable in it. Can you see this picture I just posted? No, I could if I opened it. It's, what is it? I, I, it says, uh, nothing is built in America these days. I just bought a TV and it said built-in antenna. <laughs> I don't even that. know where the hell that is. <laughs> Yeah, I saw that a few weeks, <laughs> a few weeks ago. Uh, wow. Yeah, built an antenna. Uh, wow. Okay, Benny. It's, it is kind of funny, though. But Grimner was recon He was saying five acres ain't enough. He's serious about it, too, because he put it there twice. Well, okay. but so, All right. My perfect world is a little different than, I guess, <clears throat> everybody else's. You know. uh, yeah, Grimner... Uh, Good fences make good neighbors. I guess. Doesn't matter to me one way or the other. You, well, I go, I anybody, go that I go. Would, anybody that would get off in a strange city and follow somebody home from the train. <laughs> <laughs> well, we can't really rely on your judgment in this case. No, now, I said I needed a bar and a room. Uh -huh. that's what he says this is your lucky day because that's uh -huh. what i got uh -huh. and that's what he told me there was was there when we showed up but yeah meeting somebody on the train <laughs> when i was in my 20s i wasn't as uh cautious i don't know i did i did shit man i lived life wasn't afraid of him it was you know just it was the coincidence of i needed something i was going to this place out of fucking nowhere with no no warning i thought i was going to be in in london through this but my plans changed because my grandma changed them so i went to where i was going a week earlier 5 days earlier or something like that so i still had all that time to wait from to meet my uncle did you feel like <laughs> uh galling the grammy just sent me away and uh, i'm like Scared and don't know what to do. No, 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 no. That's why when I was talking to him about going to Darby, and he says, "Yeah, I know Darby, all right. Yeah, I can help you. I was your lucky day. I I can help you with everything you asked for." Right. Boom, just Here like that. Ain't it wonderful how the universe lines up when 
when you're in tune. But that's how it's always been for me. I, even me too. When I, go, I, I mostly, and when I go against that, uh, I, long ago I discovered that uh, that's when. Other than, yeah, yeah, I call it friction. Yeah, right. when, there you go. Perfect friction. When me, me and Cirque try to mm -hmm. occupy the same exact place at the same exact time and won't budge, causes a friction. You know, and it, it's just uncomfortable for her. She gets mad at me about something I said. And I got her, oh, okay. I didn't know. Because she hears English with the Danish uh, ability. You know, her interpretations are different than my expression because she hears it in her own language. In Danglish sometimes. True, that, yeah, exactly. The, the Danglish comes in, but there's, it's the structure of the sentence also applies. You know, and, I'm the, she's, it's not as though she speaks English to too many people. Most of the stuff on the computer is typing. So, the, you know, the few American people she does Skype with or uh, whatever, communicating and verbal, it's limited. But her English is good. But still, she, she'll catch, yeah, but she'll catch an American <laughs> slang in, in, a, uh, in a Danish reality. And I'd understand it. There, that was a joke. I've been uh, brushing up on my English as a second language also. Really? Yes, I have. Interesting. What did you learn so far? Um, God, there's so much. So much. It, it's, it's how you put your words in order. I mean, really, uh, that structure and to be able to condense it down into a point of uh, the information you need without a uh, few paragraphs to describe one sentence. Got to bring it down where the person can consume it, mm. move readily to the next piece of the information. And uh, oh. so I, I think I could speak probably for two hours and then go through all that, condense it down into uh, five minutes, you know. You know, I wrote a, I wrote a, what do you call it? I say you know a lot, you know, you know, no. I don't know a lot, but I wrote I wrote a blog about something I think today. Yeah? Yeah, what I call it. The reality of reality is unreal. Isn't that a title for just, wow. Let's go look at it. You won't read it, sir? <clears throat> Do I? I'm trying yeah. to get you to open up here. There you go. Yeah. <clears throat> I have to yeah. cough at them. If you, you, I wrote a few. Yeah. The reality of reality is unreal. Where's my more button at? It's not giving me the more. It just stops off with until. Oh, you double click on the on the title. Oh, okay. Good. Thank you. <clears throat> and that'll open a copy of it, I think. Here yeah, it goes. That opens up the whole thing. I did it. How'd you know? Because I wrote it. I'll, uh, I'll read it. The well, right, but I use the software because, I mean, I write this crap on that software, so I know a little bit about something for a change. All right. I'll, I'll, wow. Look at I'll, I'll run it through yeah. this, uh, this uh, site over here. We'll see how it works out. Uh, Pro Writing Aid. That's what I just uh, started using. And I'm going to tell you what, man. It's like having a, a tutor there, and you can say, and they'll tell you, okay, these are all these uh, things that you may or may not have done correctly and uh, op uh, offer options. So that's, uh, I did my first rewrite uh, with the Wayne Haig article. And, uh, it, it did give me an option to change this a little bit, and I did. I, I, like I just have fun with words, Vinny. I'm, I'm just <clears throat> I'm trying, to, I'm trying to either write being sarcastic or comic or think about this for a minute. But not not nothing memorable. Okay. Yeah. So well, I'm putting this in our blog here. Yeah, you put anything you want, wherever you want to, you nasty fucking Arkansas. Hey, 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 what? hey, hey. hey. What? what? That, that really <laughs> is not called for. No. <clears throat> but pick a side. Pick a cause. Arm up and make a stand. Did you get your magnificent wall? It's a swamp clean. Are you happy now? Bush did his snarky, greasy, warmongering, career-ending control games in the American political theater until the other day. Because he's died. Or did he? 
Today, this lying, thieving prick was remembered by the state as a great man. The state will say anything to we the people to keep this illusion alive. <laughs> <laughs> Their supporting government still seems like a grand accomplishment or a civic duty. Will you show me your proof? If today you haven't noticed that everything lethal to us has been approved by Congress or one of its agents, maybe your reality is skewed or you're being told a pack of lies. Lies? All lies. And to be controlled in an open air prison. If you're really, if your reality sucks, it is your reality that sucks. Think about that. Wanting revenge gives the crime a longer life. Letting it go is usually beyond our capacity. Moving forward on the fuel we are fed is impossible. Control your own reality and the world at large gets smaller. Making the world look like something it is not is easier to do than you were taught to believe. Admitting you were lied to is the first act of preparing to look at the truth of this reality. Truth is not reality and reality is not truth. Reality is controlled by the government that entertains you. The life you live is what you want it to be. Learn to control yourself and everything else may work in your benefit. Or live within the confines of your government protected reality. <laughs> Click like. <laughs> you made fun. That was good. <laughs> that was fun. I didn't have that kind of enthusiasm when I wrote it. But yeah, you made fun, so it was enjoyable. I didn't make fun of it. Yeah, no, I mean, you did. Uh, you read it well, so it was entertaining. Because I thought when I wrote it, I was kind of pissing and moaning about how, <laughs> you know, how people look at the negative and don't see anything but it. I, I read it on the fly. I hadn't pre-read it, so I had to. Well, you did uh, fine, but eh, I thought I was kind of angry with it, so you joking through it made it fun. I, I wanted to be like all Shakespearean and things, you know? <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, don't, don't, yeah. Hey, we missed 420 by 3. Salute. Holy shit. Where's my pipe? <coughs> oh, excuse stop, me. Stop, stop making me put my pipe down, you alcoholic <laughs> hey, <I'm drinking> <laughs> wow yeah you can, you can you sing a song gum? No. No. dueling harps <laughs> <laughs> i challenge you to a harp off i decline in the name of good taste sir <laughs> i mean dueling banjos is bad enough but dueling harps <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh. <laughs> wow. Okay, Bob Dylan, <laughs> calm down. We got the point. <laughs> what software? Okay, folks. What? To to what uh, software do you refer? I don't know. I, Thank I, I God I for medical science. <laughs> Vinny just blew a harp. <clears throat> okay, people. Anyway, we're back. Thank you for joining in with us after the train wreck. Of the <clears throat> oh, train wreck. So what what did you think of my little what, what? did you think of my little blog about reality? <laughs> it's really, really real reality. Well, it was kind of like, if you debated it, I gave you your debate right back at you, plus a third choice. <laughs> so, it wasn't any, de you know, decisions to make reading it. You either, either you know or you don't know. And if you don't know... Oh, oh, oh I know, Grimner. Thank you. Uh, I'm sorry. Yeah. It would be a shame to go through life not knowing this. Crazy, man. Crazy. Well, so. do I make your reality... Do I? Am I the creator of everything that happens to you? <laughs> yes, thank of course you not. Who's in who, Who's in your life? You are. 
You look around, you see anybody else in the room? <laughs> I doubt it. Unless you're like, well, Cirque's upstairs, so I wouldn't be just, you know, she distracts me and talks to me and shit through the show. Crazy. Yeah, so she banished herself to the upstairs of the house while I'm doing the Tuesday night per, you know, program. Because she knew that you were going to be on and fuck, who knew what we were going to talk about? Yeah, Cirque and I were going to have to spend some time uh, on, on Skype and, and you wanted uh, to show you yeah. how to do that promoting got, kind of writing. No, the uh, we got to start at the beginning, and then that will start at the end. And so we're gonna lay out this magazine. Uh, oh well, that's the, the kind of crap. Yeah, see that yeah. organizing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she's awesome, man. That's what she does. Uh -huh. aye, aye, aye. She complains all the time about companies that run run badly. Should hire me so I could straighten that out for them, but. You know, instead of that, she works for other people, you know, with a specific task. Instead of her idea, they tell her what idea to make up. You know, her ideas are directed by other people that can direct the idea, but not create it with their, by their self. Uh, it is. They call grammar. those, they call those people bosses. Grimner, yeah, it is free. This is the uh, pro writing aid. It is the best grammar checker. Uh, style editor uh, and editing editing tool in one package. Um, I open that link up right there. Just click that little uh, green, uh, or I think it's green, whatever, and uh, uh, boom, boom, boom. And I want to give a special shout out. And uh, let's see where they are. Yes, uh, Christopher and uh, Gina uh, Gina Maselli at Writing uh, Momentum uh, on Twitter. There, so I just found them. Here, like a couple of days ago, he, he had, uh, they had followed me on Twitter. I went and checked them out and uh, came back and found what an incredible uh, bunch of information right here. And that's where I found this uh, that uh, grammar checker. Let me, uh, let me just grab you. Uh, I already had it there. I'm going to add this to this is uh, if you're on Twitter, you're not. And you ought to be. No, I mean, no. See, uh, there you go. Uh no, you you be there. I, I am. Can talk to I can talk to you here. I don't yeah. need to go to Twitter to find you. There they are, right there on Twitter. <sighs> I'll add that into the uh, notes. Uh, yeah, great great to resource right there, and uh, been uh, interactive uh, with me, and uh, so I, I look forward to using that as a, a great resource. I, I have some other stuff. Yeah, that uh, just yeah, trying to have do a, a better got, job. You have a goal, though, right? You got a goal and an expectation. I've got to goal, but I I don't have an expectation. I just wanted to have a, have a little fun, and you got me laughing a couple times tonight, so that should be okay. That costs extra, buddy. I forgot to update um, the door table thing. <clears throat> or, Where? Oh, it does it on the um, what you call it. Uh, the rocket broadcaster. No, I guess it updates it afterward. <coughs> it, says, it says dork table live, but I changed it to um, in a perfect world earlier, but it didn't change it on the. It still says dork table from Let's last week. See what our bot will tell us. <coughs> Barman yeah, well, says in a perfect it says, world. And on RLO, it says the dork table. Oh, well. But it's not I'm not possible. It's not your fault, Vinny. Hold on. Calm down. Don't put the knife down. Step away from the alcohol. Man, you've lived some adventure, some sounds like. No, I was just stalling so I could hit my yeah. butt. See there. What's up? Yeah, there you are. What's up? There you are. What's your up? name for, and your name for all to see yeah. on Twitter. Yeah. Well, do you think that uh, most people that you encounter are unhappy, nasty people, or are they happy, not so nasty people? There's a combination, so many okay. combinations. What do you know? Okay, what do you <laughs> most notice most people are not happy, and the really? more and the more they have, the le less unhappy they are, or the more unhappy they are. I mean, the more they got, the you know, yeah, the more responsibility in life you got, yeah, you're gonna be drugged down more. Eh. Maybe. I don't know. I think that, uh, like, stuff is, like, chains. 
It's terrible how I think. It's a wonder I'm still alive to even think. Because I don't think the way everybody else tells me how to think. And I think, wow, you guys are all winning. Okay. It's a lot of thinking. You're getting everything you want. But I don't want any of this the way this is. And think, well, then do something about it. <laughs> yeah, what? <laughs> what do you do about this? This is so big. There's so many idiots believing in so many dumbass things that if you step back 10 feet and look at them, you go, wow. But we got Mona Lisa syndrome. It's right in your face, and you can't really see it, so you're believing what you hear to describe it. And then usually when you're hearing that kind of thing, you're ill or something's wrong. It's always a result of a negative. And then you come out of it with Rockefeller medicine and banking. <laughs> solve, solve your problems. Get you in some debt, boy. Two, two Get negative. a job. Two, two, neg- <laughs> Be two, two. somebody. <laughs> I, here's what do two negatives make a positive i don't know do i look like i give a shit if two negatives make a positive look regardless of all that mathematical shit we're living on credit everybody everywhere it's all make believe all this work we do for wages and it's made up there's no reality to this it's like the whim of this the shithole you live in <laughs> And some shitholes are a little nicer than others. But they're ultimately because they got other people dictating what you can and cannot do. Fuck it up for everybody else. Hmm. So, according to uh, our research by uh, Miss RLM Fluke, the Vanna White of RealLibertyMedia.com right here at RLM radio.xyz. Uh, the answer is yes, indeed. Two negatives make a positive. And we will explain why within a, an example. So you can go on over and follow this because uh, this uh, math is, uh, let's open it. Oh, yeah. Math is fun. Can you say we? Yeah. You can say we in English or uh, a French. Go ahead. Yeah, I'm responding to Grim. Hold on. Oh, I'll tell him on the radio. Oh, uh, I could do that. How about we do it on Saturday, and I'll write it down with my notes on how I got to uh, do it right with what? this first thing, so I can do it right with the other one. Because I did forget the. I forgot to load the other broadcast in Rocket. Yeah, I what? did. And I didn't write down how to do it or something. So Saturday we could straighten that out if you got some time. Or, you know, between now and Saturday, but not necessarily tonight. <clears throat> Maybe tomorrow during the day when you're not too busy, eh? Because Grim gives me a hand with the technical shit, you know. And then what I do is I write notes and then, like, with the uh, trading it from the dark table back to the in a perfect world, I figured that part out. But I wrote notes to do it. And then there was another one to do, and I thought I wrote, that, wrote it down, but I must have not done it. I'm not a very good student, Grimner. I don't I don't do as I am told so badly now. Now I'm so like anti do what you're told. It's I do it when it's not even good for me. <laughs> oh, I'm broken. Help Vinny. I've fallen and I can't get up. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well I think I'm more confused now than uh when I first started over here to this uh math is fun multiplying negatives. Uh, scroll yeah. down a little bit. It says, uh, why does multiplying two negative numbers make a positive? Well, uh, first, there is the common sense explanation. When I say eat, I'm encouraging you to eat positive. When I say do not eat, I am saying the opposite, negative. Now, if I say do not not eat, I am saying I don't want you to starve. So I'm saying eat. Positive. Does that make sense? Yes. I think it. Explains. Yeah, it I, did. I, I think but I in, made a lot of sense. In terms of, yeah, in words it made sense, but in terms of math to define it, it didn't make sense. Oh well, math is but like it, the uh, uh, the commanding structure of language. That's not how we're taught. We're taught all. Uh, I'm still going to stay on that shit. All that crap about you know 
breaking down a sentence and def defining what each word means. Uh, okay, that, now uh, listen, I, I like to start at the end, but it appears to we're going to have to go back the be to the beginning for you here. Let's start very simply. A one times one is what? One. Try again. One times two is what? All right. Nothing from nothing is nothing. You got to have something if you want to if you want to play with me. Try it. I tried it. What is all that? Look, everybody's writing, everybody's writing numbers all over the place. Oh, let me go back up there. Let's see. Stoned student, barman, calc, minus nine. I think the asterisks, oh, something minus nine nine and da, da, da. Yeah, i guess it's times is 81 but i didn't need the computer i needed to know oh wait minus nine times nine is negative negative nine. nine negative nine well the first one's negative nine uh-huh times nine uh equals 81 negative 81 no negative 81 yeah yeah, if you have nine, okay, imagine this. if you have nine negatives yeah. and you multiply that, so and then you yeah. add all that up, they're yeah. uh, still negatives, right? Yeah, that's why, yeah. So how does two negatives come out with a positive? Are you, Plus, are you trying to be a smart guy here? No. Huh? Uh-uh. Wise guy. I see a wise no, I, guy, eh? No, uh, when I denounce when I denounce the clock. Yeah, and, listen, and, listen, hold up here. You're gonna you're gonna have to do uh Grimner, I need you to do me a favor and hijack this guy and set set us Degum clock. He he thinks this uh global climate <laughs> time change that we are all oppressed about is uh somehow exemplifies him from Living in a real world. Climate change. In a perfect please. world. Harp. There's climate, climate time change. change. Pay attention. Keep up. Come on now. Okay, whatever. When you fuck with the atmosphere to see what'll happen, and this is what happens. That's nothing to do there with the time change. But to to con people into they need a tax to control this crap that they're doing and they're doing it and then they're lying about what they do. It's a stupid <laughs> i it's, think uh, i think you need it's like tax. living in, in an asylum full of fucking psychos run by a fucking board of super psychos overseen by the special council of nine psychos and i denounce it all fuck you people you're all insane thank you very much but no <laughs> i don't want any of that that flavor made my made my corneas hurt <laughs> I'm an excellent driver. I, I drive very slow around the driveway. Happy birthday, Doug Larson, by the way, the other day. Who's Doug Larson? Uh, he's, uh, I met him in 2014 and then uh, again back oh. last year. Uh, Happy days. Yeah, him and uh, Greg Whalen, a couple yeah. of uh, P3s. Yeah. You know what? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, to uh, trade my passport. Uh, maybe I can find somebody at from some other country and swap passports. I wonder if I could pull that off. <laughs> That's probably a, a, a capital offense. I'm oh, yeah. Well, I'm going to go be a spy tomorrow. My my wife won't notice me gone. Are you kidding? Please. Make your prison comfortable. That's what I did. I got married, for crying out loud. You don't get any more um, chained to something than that. Huh. Looky here. You have uh, you have very little. Uh, I've I put this in on real time on the uh, pro writing uh, yeah. pad or pro writing aid. Mm. Your deal. Uh, so we're gonna hyph. I'm gonna change it. We're gonna hyphenate uh, career ending uh, yeah. cause we're gonna let that go because that's a. Uh, Do you uh, know what um, you you never you never said hi to you never said hi to the RLM or anything. You just started talking. Okay, we can what go back. Show. Let's see, what did you do? You misspelled? No. Uh, there's some other uh, options here, but... Mm. 
Okay. Uh, very. This is very helpful. You you definitely uh, anybody listening. This is a free promotional uh, uh, ad for uh, pro writing aid. Not pretty Wh- pretty incredible. Number? It's all free. It's free. What the yes indeed to negatives? Post? No, this is no no no. This is back to your uh, um, reality post. My reality post. Yeah. My little blog. Yes. Oh. Oh yeah, I enjoyed writing that. Uh huh. But it's it's so well. It's a kind of a razor's edge, right? Because I'm responsible for how I feel about how I feel about shit. It's not you doing anything. It's you saying stuff, you know, and then me be reacting to it. And I don't think that way. Uh So when I do it to other people, it's very obvious that wow, your thinking process is way different than mine. But once, you know, there you go. People are um, trained differently to react to different situations. And then some of us just evolve from one thing to the next. Or some people don't. They stagnate, never change. Or you get to a level of something that that's as good as it could possibly be and you just do that. You know, like it's like comparing grades of cannabis. I hate that kind of shit. I like 60-40. That's perfect. I like to just smoke something that works. Whatever that is for you. you know. And I'm not one of those diehard... Oh, I want to be able to take two toes and sleep for sleep for four days. I, I like to enjoy oh, yeah, uh, sure. my smoke. Well, there's so many different kinds of pot now. With all this interference from the government. And people being competitive by nature in the first place. Over really overdid of just a nice thing that if it would have just been better left to fuck alone from the beginning, but they always interfere outsiders. You know the the people that want to make money and control a, a commodity. Those fuckers. I used to be one of those people. Well, listen here. Let's do this. Let's give a, a big old howdy to uh, everybody over here in the chat in the uh, Real Liberty Media. Hey everybody! Hey everybody! And who do we have? Uh, our fantastic administrators with our bot at the top is a barman, cowboy. Welcome back, Grimner and Moose Girl and Gator. There, and uh, topping the list of our listeners is Asmo Calcedoni, Circle Chloe, and she's uh, dipped in her uh, two times double dipping. I like a double dipping, right? Uh DC Flash somebody. Uh, there's the Don again. I be. On C, yes, Master Brow, me, Ponder Gander, Poxified, Poxified, Pawn Sauce Rain, RLM Fluke, hello, girl, that's a, yes, don't talk about me about this genderization stuff of bots, uh, where'd you go, there you are, Rob Works, Rome's and me, Vinny, Woodman, Phantom 2, Anti-Beetle, Colfax, Cyber Noodle, Dakota, Frumpy, Frumpy, I got, I like, I like what you just got right there. We're coming back to, back to that, back to that. Java Doctor Two, JJ's a nine Kosu sock puck, puppet and skittle. <clears throat> Pretty good little meme there about we got to stop killing ducks to make duck tape. We have the duck hunt here and uh, <laughs> we play at the Real Liberty Media. Crazy yeah. ducks. Yeah, I say kill them all. Kill them, kill them all. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I, I look at the benefit. You can do anything with duct tape. Well, you know, I still want to know what the connection between um, CBD oil and smoking recreational cannabis. What is the connection between the two? How do how does how does this society that we live in trick us into believing that one thing can be used two different ways? Are you just making things up again? Well, I'm repeating the crap I heard. Is that the same thing? Yeah. Well, then, yeah, I'm making crap up, of course. I don't I don't see what the harm is in smoking a plant. Did you know that you can grow as many poisonous plants on your... Where it's <clears throat> illegal to grow hemp, you can grow poison. Really? Like they what? Yeah, like uh, what? Gypsum? White, Gypsum weed? White, I'm trying to think of this. They made a movie about this. White oleander... Some kind of flower. Yeah. Oh, the are poisonous. 
Yeah, there you go. You can grow as many of those that you, on your property as you want. Well, actually, that's not always true. Um, in Las Vegas, it's uh, it's it's an outlawed plant now. You can't. There you, can't, you go. You okay. can't put. You can't buy it and plant it there. Some place. Okay, some places change, but because it's a poisonous plant, I, that's what they There's say. There's more places is really where that is it really poisonous. There's you're still more places. Not eating it. <laughs> I don't know. Stop making sense, Vinny. You're I mean, giving me a headache. Channel 11. Uh, Anti yeah. can't hear us. Of course, so if he's not. Oh, uh, yeah. uh, he's not. Poor guy. It's, it's a link right there. I'll push it at the button. He okay. Be, he should be plugged into this program. Push the button. At the, at the threat of getting his 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 rear end rearranged. That's what I think. Push it. I think yeah, Push we should hold end. more hostages. You know what this show needs? Are we gonna more cut? Are, are we gonna cut their heads off when we're done with them? Let's get duck. Yeah. Let, I, hey, you know what? Let's get duck. We'll take we'll, duck hostage. I have one. We'll hostage we'll duck, beat up, but I we'll can't beat sacrifice up that one. And chop up the the dumbest one and feed him to the smart ones. <laughs> that way you can lower the IQ amongst the group. <laughs> Listen, we'll feed him some dumb meat. And maybe that'll make him slower, <laughs> easier to control. I've got. <laughs> Yeah, that'll work. I have, uh, I have befriended one duck in Real Liberty Media, and I have uh, killed 205 of the dirty, nasty so creatures. What? Yes. This is a serious you're, war. People are deceived. Comes over and poops in your pond. Then what? You're a credit to your race. Thank you. Kill them all, I say. Kill them all. Death to ducks. Yeah. Wow. Death to the new duck <sighs> dynasty order. Uh, uh, <laughs> Got to have see. somebody to blame, and I blame Duck. You blame? Wow, is that all you got after all these years? You big sissy. Yeah. Ducks. Wow. 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 I, should I start? Wait, they're ready. Doubting? We're shooting should I ducks. Start, should I start doubting your sanity at this point? Does that sound like a duck or a penguin? <laughs> <laughs> kind of like a dangwin. <laughs> <laughs> I don't. I don't have any. Idea. So I don't like a duck. <laughs> Stop it! You're you're making me say crazy shit now, Vinny. You big bully. Anyway, eh, we're almost to the end of the program. Tonight. Yeah, it's in uh, today's sacrificial. Uh, at what are we gonna call it? We're gonna cut your head off, anyways promise yeah at the end uh, the hostage gets her head cut off in today's uh, broadcast. my wife isn't gonna like that one hey uh, I didn't, listen I didn't that, to... listen no worries we got plenty of duct tape built up from all the ducks i killed we'll tape it back on duct tape finish fixes anything <laughs> <laughs> you'll be all good and ready for air again next saturday uh, Grim's table Grim's showing off with his his duck kill. Hey, he hasn't he hasn't befriended one. Grimner, you have to uh, capture one. Hold it hostage. So much information. You you think waterboarding on a duck would not work? Uh, 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 let me tell you otherwise. They'll quack, I tell you. Oh, <laughs> we have damn. we have ways well, we can okay. quack you duck. Yeah. Wow, this upset. Mary had this obsession too. I, I'm see. I'm always out of the whatever normal is. I never play. <laughs> you thought that was normal? Oh yeah, bro, boy! All you, all you duck people, you're all involved in it like it's real. It's not. Even the ducks that I pass in town when I go to town, you know, they're not real either. I just think they are. Well, I'll tell you what. Bugs Bunny is a hero to me, for sure. Well, Grimner seems to share your distaste for ducks, but I find them quite uh, appealing. When I wander When I wander into my little Danish village area to go do my, you know, commerce, my local <laughs> commerce and trafficking, I find it quite comforting. I've posted a picture of this little canal where the ducks all gather and the people go feed them and shit. And it, it's normal to me now. I... I'd miss it if it was if it wasn't here tomorrow. I'd go, hey, where's my fucking ducks, people? <laughs> and, right, this, and I'm just vi I'm a visitor here though. But you know, I've 
I've grown to like it. I've, I enjoy it a lot. Do you like your tulips? I, shesh. Hey, I even went to the far side, the farthest reaches of the uh, commerce sector to go get my wife something at the girly store. And they didn't even have it. And she even tried to tell me, oh, do it, you know, do it another time. And I said, well, I got to get milk anyway, so I'll go do this too. And the wind was blowing real bad today. It was like, uh, it was like a whiner's day out. <laughs> you know, the walk wasn't very comfortable because the wind was blowing so hard. Blow your skirt up, didn't it? Pretty much. It was like being in Kirkwall all over again. But it's, you know, just one day here. It's not forever. Kirkwall, it was like, that's pretty much the way it was. I've, Harsh wind. I've included the, uh, the great debate of rabbit season or duck season. Bugs Bunny, uh, Elmer Fudd, and uh, Daffy. Da 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 that was that was Elmer. I mean, uh, uh, what's his name? Piggy. Huh? What's the piggy name? Did it? Did, did, Porky, yeah, Porky pig. Did, 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 Porky. Porky pig. I can't yeah. say it. It's stuttering. I just told you. Thank you. You bonehead. Anyway, so what do we got coming up on the uh, old Real Liberty mm -hmm. Media? Com. Grammy's not here tomorrow, right? Why? Right, Why not? Is is she back? She's not back uh, tomorrow. I think she's gone oh, doing things, yeah. right? I think she said she was uh, Friday night. She said she wasn't going to be on Wednesday. Yeah, I think I heard that too. She's going to see her kids. So she'll be back Unless on Friday at six o'clock yeah, in yeah, Kansas yeah. time. Wow. Then we uh, no. take a pause for two hours and come back to the Freakers Ball, y'all, with Grimmy uh, Grimner and uh, a Moosey Moose Girl. And that's right, right here at uh, RealLibertyMedia.com. Come on along, and uh, we'll be hearing some music and having some chat and discussion and all that good stuff. The next day, uh, I don't think you claim it as a yeah, you fake. You don't claim that as a Sabbath. Saturday is uh, you <laughs> on the dark <door> table. <laughs> uh, yeah. Hostage free, perhaps. I don't know. And uh, hey, tune in and come on along in the chat if uh, uh, you'd like to uh, get into some conversation with uh, Hal Anthony. He, he pops in late, uh, late there. Uh, not so much as late as his time, but for early uh, riser, uh, me, yeah, 10 o'clock night is. Not late. It is late. It's early for him. <laughs> and then it, he'll be along, of course, the next day, Sunday, where uh, Grimner starts the uh, the day with some uh, blues, some of the Sunday blues. That's right. At uh, noon uh, o'clock Eastern time. And uh, we're playing trivia. Well, when I say playing trivia, we're competing against these monster minds in here. Uh, thousands of answers correctly uh, answered. And uh, then Alf comes on at uh, 3 Eastern, noon o'clock on the left coast out there by the Pacific Ocean. And, uh, hey, yeah, that's you it. think Santa... Then you, you Santa, again, back to uh, this right here oh, yeah. in a perfect you, world, contrasting you, occupation. Tuesday. Do you, do you think Santa Claus is going to visit us on a, in a perfect world? Not you. Oh, am I on the night list? No, no but I'm going to send you a lump of coal. What did I do this time? No. Wow. Man, and see, it's all you judgmental religion editors that keep me oppressed. Oh, man. Yes. <laughs> Oppressing sure. me with your damn good behavior. <laughs> You're welcome. I'm trying what to help. What's wrong with you, I'm man? Don't you know anything about freedom? Do, but do you have a perverse sense of the word freedom where it covers you have a right to be an asshole just because you're free? No, I don't. I, I'm an anarchist-minded kind of person. I wouldn't want you doing it to me, so I ain't going to start nothing. That's not how it works. you know. And, and the way it's projected it on through the, the public, to the public, is really fucked up. I've spoken. You did. What? Yeah. You you probably couldn't hear that. I was playing it. You were. Yeah. I don't know what you're doing. Did you hear it? it? Sounds like. Yeah. It sounded like you're slapping something. Huh. Uh, well. What are you? Not correct. A, it's not like it, you're it. punching a card. 
Yeah, yes, sir. It's uh, it's uh, a bit, a bit. Uh, uh, how we're gonna close the show out? That uh, but that that's all, folks. Oh, you part, can you part, do that? Porky Pig can say it better. No, I didn't play it. Because it's not gonna stay on the on the vi on the audio. No, link. it's in the it's in the uh, it's in the blog. I I just well, my lights do there. Anyway. I had a giggle tonight, sir. I remember laughing a time or two. So it was fun. Does anybody yeah. remember laughter? It, I I don't know what I want to do with the dork table until I do it. So if I if I go on and don't open wire, I'm probably just planning to do it alone. If I open wire, jump on it. I want to have people at the dork table. If you want to be there, be there. That's what it's for. If you don't want to be there, don't be there. I, You know, it's just a point it's a time to cut loose and let people know what i think about this crap because they think shit too but you know some people want to listen and some people want to talk and i happen to be one of those yakky people like you yeah i want to tell people what i think about it yeah it doesn't yeah. mean it's true Don't it's true back. to me though hey but see that's what i mean i understand life in terms of what i see is true to me it doesn't matter what you think about it it matters what i think and I assume that of you. That's how I think of anarchism. I'm not judging you. I'm judging myself. You know, you're out there somewhere doing other shit. There you go. Maybe we'll talk about it next week on the you know Perfect World Program. And in the meantime, that's all. So. Live. Yeah, but we'll do it live from Whittier Boulevard. Oh yeah, fun. Yeah, in a sharp short. <laughs> yeah, 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 in a low rider right <laughs> on. I, I love watching those cars. Uh, go, anyway, go, 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 go. is is that all, folks? That's all. <sighs> okay, folks, over and out.